Hey guys, I just want to come back to you guys with a new game called Stranded Deep. This just came out today in early access and I had to get it because it's like uh, a mixture of salt and um, the forest. It looks pretty unique so far and I want to kind of make a series out of it. So let's see what's up and let's go ahead and start this. It's basically a game that has, like, a huge open world that's infinitely procedurally generated. Yeah. <gasps> and, like the forest, you start out on a plane. Then we gotta go get ourselves a martini. This is basically an introduction to the crafting system and whatnot. Like if you you can open and shut the trolley too, but it doesn't really do anything. But yeah, you basically hold down the left mouse button to craft this. And then pull out a lighter. basically how every crafting item is here. It's physically crafted so you cannot craft it from your inventory or anything. Uh, something's wrong. All these ones. Going down. Going down. Save us all. By the way guys, this is my first time through this, so I'll be playing it first time and just like you. or something this can't be we got a paddle now uh yeah well I guess standing out here is not gonna do a any gun let's go ahead and go to this island As you can see, it works a lot like uh, salt on the uh, movement. I don't think I want to beach this. Uh. I'm always going to leave that in the raft. You're very limited on equipment space there, so you can only carry eight items at once, or eight different items. Found a stick. And a rock. I 
The game world is supposed to be different each time you play through this as well. I'm not sure how that works, but it's supposed to be a different experience every time. There is a log sticking into a rock. How that works, I don't know. Or plank, rather. Well, we can kill the crabs. Unlike, uh, the forest. We couldn't kill the crabs there. I don't know if you can now, but yeah, back then you couldn't. I'm not really sure how to craft things, like how many materials they need, so it's going to be a trial and error until we get what we're looking for. We're probably not going to set up an actual base on this place, because this island is very, very small. We can climb a palm tree? Whoa. You like that? I'm on top of the world. Oh, ouch. I think I totally just broke a leg. Um, I don't know how to see that either. Rule of advice climbing palm trees and jumping down is dangerous. But he seems to be fine, so... It's probably gonna be a mechanic later. If you actually break a bone, you're have to gonna have to, like, fix it or something. I don't know how that works. I don't know how any of this works. I've never played Salt, even. I just watched a bunch of other people play. Apparently we got some ropes here. Potato plant. Some yummy potatoes that I can't pick up. Apparently that's enough to make a campfire. Alright, so we're gonna put a campfire here. Crude hammer. Okay, I'll take that. So guys, apparently it's one stick, one rope, and two rocks for a crude hammer. I'm assuming it's only one rock for the uh, crude axe. For some reason that turned blue. I'm guessing the hammer is for building buildings.
go ahead and eat those. I gotta say, these graphics are actually pretty nice. This game is like, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty nice graphics there. Not very many like this that have graphics so neat and like so fluid and smooth. Which I'm sure you guys can tell I'm actually recording in a better quality of graphics on the same machine I'm usually on. And yeah, so it seems to not have any lag or whatever. That's pretty good, so yeah. Of course I do meet double the requirements for this game, but while recording it should have like a bunch of lag or something. Like it usually does with uh, 7 days in the other games. Not that I would complain. I prefer it this way. We can't cut down a palm tree with the, uh, the hammer, so we can do it with a knife. Although that would like take forever in real life. That'd be almost impossible. That knife would go so dull before then. Oh, okay. This is cool. Uh, apparently there's different sections of the tree that you can cut again, I guess. And these are coconuts, yeah. Yep, they're coconuts. Drinkable coconut. I'll take that. Actually, I feel like I should cut it like right here. Sadly, you can't hold in the mouse button to keep attack or keep hitting it like that. You have to constantly click it. Well, that seems to be a pretty decent game for only 15 bucks. Okay, apparently we do still have to, uh... No? Hmm. I heard it break twice, what the heck? That is weird. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, does it actually? Okay, it shows it right there. So this is actually the log. It is separated from the rest of the tree already. So yeah, guys, just like uh, the forest, it turns into uh, sticks after you break it down. Although in the forest, I don't think you can do it with actual logs. You have to do it with those plants, but same difference. Over here, you cut the tree trunks down and the sticks, so yeah. actually been watching this game, or following it rather, for a little while now. I've been kind of interested in seeing how this turns out, because it combines the awesomeness of uh, Salt's little exploration with the uh, building and crafting system of the forest, which is pretty good. There is day and night cycles, there is also weather cycles. And apparently there is some sea creatures. If 
you go out and explore, you could run into them. My knife just break. Whoa, what's this? Okay, apparently my knife did just break. accidentally threw it somewhere, but I don't remember something. <laughs> oh well then, I guess we will uh, see what we can make. Um, yeah. Yeah, guys, you just pile it up and then it'll highlight them all, kind of like it does. See the rope and the sticks all highlighted here, and then you just hold on the mouse button and then it'll show you what you can build. Although right now I can't really build anything with it because I need more of that rope. That's my guess, anyway. so I can make a foundation. Oh, you can even make it high. Okay, that's cool. That. We got a foundation. Apparently it looks like it just takes sticks. Wondering if that's like a pirate ship in the distance there. Kind of looks like a pirate ship. Yeah, you can't kill anything with the hammer even. I don't think you can do anything other than build the uh, building, build part things. Which is kind of bad because I do kind of need to find another rock in order to make that axe. I probably should have made that first. It's becoming night time as well. Those might be islands. There's supposed to be a lot of different islands. But the way that uh, raft moves, I'm not really sure I want to trust that thing to go out there. Let's go get some pretty big waves and whatnot. There's a lot of stuff that could go wrong. Alright, so we did make this campfire. Um, it hasn't auto lit, so I'm assuming we have to light it with the, the lighter that we got. Yep, okay. Guys, never lose your lighter. It's too important. Light the crabs on fire! Can we actually do that? <laughs> nah, I guess not. Can I 
bake this potato? No. Okay. Looks like that island over there is closer than those ones. Well, maybe not. Over there, I don't know. That one there looks big. I want to find us a pretty big island to make a uh, home base on. I guess we can build while we're waiting, uh, yeah. This is kind of like, um, rust building system. Where you have to line it up like that. It reminds me of a lot of rust. We can't use the lashling for anything on the building, which is weird because you would totally need rope to tie all this down. Well, welcome to our uh, foundation with sticks. <laughs> I guess that's kind of it for our uh, island here. We're gonna have to uh, go and explore more. Yeah, I don't see any more rocks. Then we kind of need another rock in order to make that axe. There's potatoes. I wonder if we can do farming in this game. Well, we'll have to find out and learn it together. guys, that's going to be it for episode 1 of our Let's Play through Stranded Deep. And I hope you guys are liking this. I actually like how this is turning out so far, although it could be a little bit more action-y, but, you know, it's alpha, and it's, like, early access alpha, so it's just came out. And that would make things a little more interesting. There's a little doll on that end, but I have not tried to explore anything anywhere else. There could be more like wild animals or something that would attack you, or other people even. I don't know what they have in store for me out there. Um, yeah, I'm playing this blind, so yeah. I have not looked up any recipes or anything like that. We're going to learn it as we go, and yeah. So one of those three islands is what we'll be going to on episode two. I hope that goes so well that we actually manage to make it to that island. I don't know how well that's going to work out, but uh, look at this fire, guys. It's pretty nice graphics on the fire, even. Anyhow. I'll see you guys next time with episode 2.